In a two-page statement, the former Attorney General says all right-thinking citizens must condemn what he describes as an unseemly attack on the Chief Justice and the judiciary under the cloak of parliamentary privilege. The former Attorney General gave detailed information on how the salary and housing arrangements for the Chief Justice and other public officers are worked out, saying it is the responsibility of the Salaries Review Commission and the Ministry of Public Administration on the advice of the Cabinet. The former Attorney General says an analysis of the records would show that when Chief Justice Ivor Archie was appointed to office in January 2008, he, Jeremy, was neither Attorney General nor even a member of Cabinet. He adds that while the Office of Attorney General is duty-bound to assist the Chief Justice in any way which is lawful, Chief Justice Archie never requested any assistance while he was Attorney General. Senior Counsel Jeremy says the allegations are not only untrue and cannot even be substantiated by records, but also clearly defy parliamentary standing orders, which stipulate that members of Parliament should not call into question the conduct of the Chief Justice. He says if this is done, it must be governed by a carefully done authority. Mr. Jeremy says the conduct of Minister Volney is not only unbecoming of a former judge, but is an attack on the judiciary and the Chief Justice. Mr. Jeremy goes on to commend Chief Justice Archie, saying he has restored dignity to the office and displayed fearless determination as a guardian of the law. He is now calling on the Prime Minister and Attorney General to publicly repudiate Minister Volney's comments, which according to Mr. Jeremy, insulted the independence of the judiciary and violated the separation of powers.